stay humble. If this doesn't make you humble, if something like this, finding all this, doesn't make you humble, there's something wrong. guys this is James and welcome back to the store of scavenger all right so we're right back at work at the $70 unit that we got just last week at the public storage storage auction and this one has a really really sad story to it it's getting to me here because the story is just getting deeper and deeper and deeper obviously one of the things that I've already found this person was definitely homeless and this was everything that they had is what I'm going through in this unit. This has been a really, really tough one for me because of, you know, how close to home it hits with some of this stuff. Now, this person didn't have anything. They didn't have a place to go. And sadly, I'm finding so much stuff. I mean, I've barely made it. I haven't even made it a quarter of the way through the unit yet. I've already found so much valuable stuff that they could have sold. For a meal, place to live. I mean, there's so much more to go through here. And they just didn't have anything. So that's the reality of this business. We're dealing with people's stuff. And a lot of people want to get mad because we are taking advantage of these people. I'm not taking advantage of them. They lost this stuff. Regardless of whether I bought this unit or not, it was going to the dump. If I hadn't have bought it, nobody else was going to buy it. If, nobody, if I hadn't have bought it, it was going to the dump. The whole thing would have gone to the dump. Instead, now I'm able to work on getting it out to, to other people. I've got a lot of stuff I'm going to show you today that I've already got a plan on what I'm going to do with it. And it's going to be to restore us to love in a little bit different way so we're going to make sure that it gets back to people that need it so let's stay tuned to the end of the video and we're going to share what we're going to do right now let me show you some of what we found drinks lots of drinks more food They just hoarded this stuff. Sleeping bag. This is probably was their bed. That's probably what they slept in. More tables. Forge. More electronics. Alright, this right here looks like a pair of uh, military pants. But you can shake it and you can hear that their pockets are full. I mean, there's just stuff in every one of these pockets. We're going to go through these pockets and see what all we find. Pennies. This person had all kinds of wires and cables and cell phone stuff. I got a whole box over here of nothing but uh, wires and cables that we found in this unit so far. Ooh, George, it's a knife. Always carry a knife. That's a pretty decent looking one too. 
I mean, it's rusted, but fake bone to handle. Nice. Little knife. Clean it up. Sharpen it up. Nice knife for somebody. And more cash. I'm just finding change. This has been the reality of this unit. I just wanted to show off. Honestly, there's a lot of this stuff that gets cut in our videos, but I wanted to show the reality of some of this stuff. Look, vacuum tokens, pennies, all the coins that we find. I put it all into a bag and we'll sort it all. We'll search through it all, make sure that there's no rare coins or anything that's you know, extremely valuable. And we'll go through it all in detail later and then we'll uh, add it to our jar. I have a jar at the house of all the change from all the units we go through. And once it gets full, cool, we'll go to the <coughs> bank and uh, make a deposit. Oh, oh. More money. Oh, it's torn. But I got the rest of it. I got some tape. We'll make it work. Cigarettes. Bandanas. How to keep your head dry. Spoons to go stuff. This was all just jammed down into their pocket. I'm willing to bet because the other stuff we'll find it. I'll show you some of that in a little bit. This person was uh, begging. They were pandering. And so they got all this change. And sadly, they didn't do anything with it. drugs or something but oh there's more wow exactly how much cash have we found in this unit make sure you tune in on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Tuesday that's tomorrow we're gonna be doing a live I'm going through the bag of change and show you where we're at so far I won't even be anywhere not done with the unit yet but we're gonna give you an update on how much money we found in this unit tomorrow during our live Some kind of foreign coins. We're going to check all this out later. We're going to go through it all in depth back at the house. This is what's in the pockets of a homeless person. Oh, 
That's just one side. There's more. Now, I've got to make sure I'm wearing gloves when I do this. It's hard to get into these pockets with gloves on, but at the same time, I can't see what's in there. And especially with knowing the history of some of these people, I don't want to uh, stab myself with anything. Poker chips. Nice little charm. I'll put that with the jewelry. More cables. There's more. There's more and more and more. Everywhere I touch, there's just more stuff. Mm. More poker chips. Trying to do better about showing and getting it on camera uh, when I find something worth showing. Mm. Look at that. Dice, candy, and more money. Laser pointer, and it works. Side zippers. We got more. I'm going to go through that in just a little bit. Another pony memory card. <sighs> more trash, more trash. They kept everything. They just held on to everything. And all I've done, I mean, I've just gone through one piece of clothing here. Locks. I'm not even making it through a box. This is just going through. Look at that. Made. I've got some of these at home. And I'll always redeem them, so... That's always a good find. That's free food at Sonic. We have one just a couple blocks away from our house. There's another one. Sweet. I think we're going to Sonic tonight. That's the thing with these cargo pants, there's just so many, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we're going to go through that in just a few minutes, here, I mean, I'm 11 minutes in, this one pair of pants is going to take most of the video, wow, there's just so many pockets, so many things to go through in here. This bandanas look just so 
much stuff, little bungees. This is what it takes. You have to be willing to go through everything, every little pocket, every little thing, because you never know what's going to be found inside. Stay humble. If this doesn't make you humble, if something like this, finding all this, doesn't make you humble. There's something wrong. You need to appreciate what you have. Doing this, I see so many people that are caught up in what they have, what they get. Doing this just helps me to remember that we got so much more to be grateful for because we have so much stuff that these guys take. We take for granted stuff that these people just don't have. And this is a reminder of that. Finally done with those pants. Um, also found this. Anything helps, God bless. Retired veteran. Um, this is why I think they were pantering. They were sitting on the side of the road. This is just an example of what all I'm finding here. Food. Whole jars. And it's good till 2021. Jif creamy peanut butter. This stuff is like gold in my house. Green beans. Twenty twenty one beef raviolis. See, they hoarded food. This is food, ramen noodles, and you gotta have your sweet tooth. M and M's, one of my favorites. That's all good food too. None of that. Expired this time. A lot of times it's expired. All right, guys. Here, so here's where we're at. Okay, we're almost at the halfway point through this unit. As you can see, you've got that stack right there, and then it kind of forms like a barrier wall. And then you start looking back, and we start seeing neatly stacked boxes, neatly packed boxes. Furniture neatly stacked. I think here's here's what I think happened from here forward, which is we're almost at the halfway point. Is they were somewhat living on all of this stuff. This is where I found all the trash. I think back here is where we're gonna find all the treasure. I think this is where we're gonna find their personal living stuff. This is what they had when they had a home. All their stuff neatly packed, neatly stacked, well taken care of. That's what we're going to find in here. And there's a lot of it. I've probably got at least another four or five days worth of work in this unit to get it down to here. Get all this up. So what we're going to do is we're going to get all this stuff moved out, out of the way. Move it back to the house, move it back to my storage, finish going through the trash, get all this stuff out of the way. And then we're going to come back and we're going to start knocking this stuff out. Start going through all these boxes and seeing what else we can find. Alright, so we're back to the little red bag we found in their pocket. We're going to go through this bag and see what's in it. Trash or treasure? I can hear the jingle. So let's look at it and see what we got. A little flashlight. Ooh. USB drive. Check that out, see if there's anything on it. Looks like that. some little pieces 
Put that in with the costume jewelry. We'll look at it later. When you find receipts, wad it up. Oh. When you find receipts, make sure you unfold them. Because you never know what you're going to find. I've seen some people just rush through this and they find receipts and they just, oh. And nine times out of ten, you may not ever find anything. Another USB drive. So I've got a couple USB drives to take a look at. We're dropping money already. Alright, most of the time those USB drives may not have anything on it, but sometimes they do. And you may not ever, you may not find stuff in the receipt. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Most of the time I don't, but every once in a while, I do. And especially when you get into a unit like this one, look at all that. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Leave me a comment below. Let me know how much money do you think we found in this unit today. This is all the money that we found between yesterday and today. This is all the money that we found in this unit. Guess how much do you think is in this bag. Leave a comment below. Then tune in Tuesday night 7 p.m. That's tomorrow. And see what we got we're gonna count the money and i'm gonna give you a total of how much is in here just right now and remember this isn't all the money we're gonna find we're probably gonna find more as we go through more through this unit hey guys thanks for watching our video today i know this one was a little bit different than my normal style it's not my normal upbeat style but I wanted to really show the true story of this people, of this unit that we found. And I hope that it touches some people. I hope that it helps you to understand and remember, always remember, always, always, always remember the stories of the people whose units we're cleaning. Because that's important. That's an important part. Uh, well, Jessica and I have already talked about it. This is something that... I've been thinking about it ever since I got into the unit. Uh, I've been finding all this food. I just showed you a small portion of what I've been finding for the last three days in this unit. So I sold you some of the food. I told you, um, you know, we've been finding blankets, clothes, food, all this stuff. Um, normally I donate a bunch of that stuff to Goodwill. What we've decided to do is we're going to go to one of our local homeless store, uh, shelters, restores the love a little bit. We're going to give some of this stuff back um, to the homeless people and let this, let this go to one of the homeless shelters so that uh, it can go back to the people that help it. So I'm going to give you an update later on in my live. Um, and we're going to work on some things between now and then to see what we can do to make that happen. So, we're going to restore the love a little bit, give some of this stuff back, and give it to people that really, really need it. So, um, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Come back tomorrow for our live, and we'll get back to work on this unit.